Hello, and welcome to another IC3D Quick Start Bite. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to add a dynamic crinkle to your flexible packaging using IC3D's physics simulation. Start by opening up your object editor and selecting the mesh data. From here, once selected, we want to select the point editor icon, and that's going to be up in the top right of your object editor. And from here, you're going to be presented with a warning. This warning just sim simply says that uh, if we go into the point editor with a flexible model, we will lose our fill and unfill option, which is just the small slider in the special effects menu. Hitting yes will then bring us over to the point editor. From here, we're going to want to link our top and bottom seals so that they won't move during the physics process. This will help with cleanup later. To do this, select the top seal points, then select the small chain icon on the top bar. We want to lock our constraints for all selected points. Then do the same thing for the bottom seal. Once both seals are locked, we can then start our physics manipulation process. To do this, select the small hand next to the chain icon on the top bar to get into the physics options. Here, we want to use both auto and user generated constraints. Hitting OK will bring us back to the main screen, but now our bag will have physics hooked on. What this means is you can now push, pull, scale, rotate any of the points on your model, and the bag will crinkle just like the bag in real life. With some creative manipulation, you can create some interesting and unique wrinkles to your bag. So don't be afraid to grab and pull around, just rotate around some points and see how it affects the model. Also switching over to your scale tool to pinch and pull some of the outside points and just manipulate the overall model until you're pretty satisfied with the overall result. Once you've made some wrinkles to your bag, it may be hard to see the overall result right now because we still need to remap how our light hits the newly crinkled bag. This will help showcase the new crinkles, and you'll want to do this every time you make changes to the bag to allow for the changes to reflect in your pouch or bag. We want to look to our normal tools on the right panel. These tools are specially designed for remapping how our light hits our bag. First, swap over from point selection to face selection on the top right, then click and drag to select everything on the scene. You will notice at first the model seems still very smooth, but once you select the Recalculate Normals button, the wrinkles will start to show. At first, they're going to be very jagged, so we're going to want to move over to our Smooth option and select that next. This will smooth the wrinkles into a more realistic look. Some wrinkles may not be fully smooth, so we will need to increase our angle of smoothing to accommodate those angles as well. The small box next to the smooth button should be able to handle this. From here, we can reset if we don't like what we see and try to run the physics again. Or, if you like what you've got, we can move on to the cleanup. We want to get rid of our links first by going back to the point selection, then grabbing any point to unlock our chain option. Click the chain again, then select unlink all. Next, you're going to notice there are small black areas on the top and bottom seals. These areas are where our model's backside has peeked through to the front side. We are going to need to fix this. The easiest way to do this is to hit the ignore backsides option on the right panel and then simply grab the front point and drag it towards you. The ignore backsides option will allow you to select the front point and not the backside point for very quick and easy clean. Do this until all of the black areas are gone as you're going to notice these inside of our final render if you don't get rid of these areas. These areas are also why we linked our top and bottom seals, as if we didn't link them, our black areas that we would see here would be much more extreme and it would require a lot more cleanup. Mm -hmm. 
Once you're finished with this process, go ahead and save this to the scene, and then you can finish with your render. Don't forget to add it into the ray tracer to really see those reflections and increase the refraction if you're not getting enough reflections on your package. My name's Adam Chop, and thank you so much for joining me on this IC3D Quick Start Bite.